Hi guys, I wanted to talk really quickly a little bit more about this heart energy, right? This romantic energy, the half of your best friend's heart that connects with somebody else and creates that romantic energy. Um, as I have been studying this and researching this energetically, um, pretty much just through my own sense of internal sight and basically prayer, what I have found is that this system originates um, through puberty, basically like sexual maturation, leads to the energetic formation of this energy. So children do not have it. Um, doing this series on behalf of a little child would like not be helpful, basically. Um, but that is how that energy seems to show up. It's not something that you're born with, although you probably are born with like the seed of it, kind of like how, um, I don't know, babies are not born with all of the things that we have as adults, but they're born with the seed of that, right? And so like, as we grow, we have these seeds and, um, which makes me think of an, an interesting different application than I had been, uh, been thinking about before. Uh, but today and for the next week and a half, we are going to be working on clearing out some wounding from this romance energy, just our own half of it, which is the half that we can control, right? Um, this kind of reminds me also of the yin yang. And I think, I wonder if that's really what this energy is. As I'm talking about it, I'm like feeling this, yes, that's what it is. We're working on, if you are a woman, you are the yin, the yin in the yin yang. And if you are a man, you are the yang in the yin yang, you know, and um, we're working on healing up that, that part of ourselves so that we can fit more easily um, in romantic relationship. Ah, so this is really good. The first thing that I found as I was preparing this series is that all of us are carrying a lot of wounding in that specific zone of our energy fields. And I'm not sure, uh, you know, I think doing general healing work clears out stuff from that field, you know, just by accident. But we're going to be really intentional over the next week and a half and clear it out systematically with intention so that we're we're specifically going to get stuff from that area of our own hearts, our own souls that would not necessarily clear in any other way. So I feel really excited about this. Um, and today we're going to work on the worthlessness energy, any worthlessness energy that is caught in your part of that yin yang symbol. Okay. So uh, hang out. I'm going to tune in right now. Let's take our deep breaths and figure out what's going on. I immediately get Eeyore vibes, like from Winnie the Pooh, you know, Ooh, that kind of vibe. Can it clear it? No, for more than one reason, no. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. When I do it live, I um, it takes a little bit longer. So let's let's see. Is there a block on it? Yes. A personal block on it. I asked if there's like ancestral blocks um, to this specifically, and I'm getting no, not in our thing. So I'm going to ask now, do we carry generational trauma in this kind of energy field? And I'm getting no, I'm getting it really, it really um, is just ours. So we'll have to see if that, if we still think that that's true after the end of this month, but because I'm sure generational patterns still affect our perceptions of romance and our experiences in romantic relationships, but it looks like the energy field that we're specifically working on is unique to us and is not an ancestrally, um, you know, a, not a very ancestrally impacted energy field. Okay, so I'm seeing that this energy of worthlessness, we're going to specifically work on the energy of worthlessness that... The first one that showed up in infancy, the first time we as infants were like, wow, I must be totally worthless. Like I have this need, somebody's not meeting it. I must be worthless. Even if the need, like the parent can't read your baby mind, like they have no idea what you needed. Um, maybe they did and ignored it, you know, but, um, you know, we're going to work on that energy. And, and what I'm seeing is kind of like a Fibonacci sequence kind of thing going on where it's like the worthlessness that we experience in infancy, it kind of like comes back and is reborn as feelings of worthlessness at puberty. And that is when it creates the worthlessness that's stuck in this energy field. So um, 
So I'm asking, can we clear both the infant one and like the the pubescent one at the same time? I think we might be able to do that with intention. So let's tune in and take a look. <sighs> Okay, we're going to download a tube of light shining to our heads that teaches us how to clear both the infancy, worthlessness, and the pubescent one that are both stuck in this best friend heart energy. I'm seeing an angel come and attach like a vacuum hose to this romance energy so it can suction out the junk that does not belong there. And today we are just working on worthlessness. I have a plan for the next week and a half to help us get through this in a graceful and easy way. So are we willing to let go of that worthlessness? I'm getting for a majority of us, the answer is no. Do we need to know all the details of how it originated? No, but we do have to be willing to let it go. So what is it going to take for us to be willing to let it go? I'm hearing my worthlessness is familiar. If I believe that I have no worth, then, um, then it kind of like justifies or explains my life experiences to me. Um, are we ready to have new life experiences where every day is an affirmation that we're enormously valuable? Are we willing to let go of old narratives that say we are worthless? Even if those narratives are what we've had to cling to in order to make sense of our lives, what if we had a new way to make sense of our lives? What if the new way of making sense was that we did not have a strong understanding of our own worth? And that is why other people did not understand our worth, but now we're done. And now we have a greater understanding of our own worth and we are willing to step into um, a new level of relationships and a new level of experiences. What if we could have that instead? Okay, still feeling some resistance there. I'm hearing a scream in my mind. See if you can hear it too. We're going to let it scream itself out. <sighs> Have it get bigger, bigger, bigger until it just like fizzles out and you'll feel kind of like a click in your system when that scream gets all the way out. You can tap and breathe it out if that helps. And I think for most of us, we actually can let that worthlessness energy go out that angelic vacuum. So see it getting suctioned out of this energy that looks like half of a best friend's heart, like the little best friend's necklace, okay? Uh, where they have best friends on the two necklaces and then they like join up to make a little heart. We're suctioning out our half of the heart, suctioning out feelings of worthlessness and removing them specifically from this energy. And the angels are gonna dispose of that and recycle that energy. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. All of your negative energy, uh, just when we remove it, we get to recycle it and turn it into positive energy that blesses the universe instead. So this is like so good. Okay. Just checking in. Are we good? Okay. I'm getting that we're basically good for today. We're going to fill up the space with light and a sense of value, an understanding of our personal value in the spot, in our energy fields where that worthlessness was. So let's tap in. I have an understanding of my own personal value. Tap it in, breathe it in. <sighs> hey, excellent work. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Come hang out on the Facebook group if you want to talk about your experiences. We love doing that in there. Intuitive Healing with Ali Duzette. Can't wait to hang out with you. This is going to be really good. I hope that you have a good day.